Hey Turtle Nerds, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, the first thing we're gonna do is go outside and see if we can find that darn leak because I finally have enough time to today. And then after I do that, uh, we have some news, something to chat about that most of you already know about Coco. So yeah, let's let's get going outside though and see if we can find this hole in the pond liner. All right, Turtle Nerds, I'm a... Uh... In my bathing suit, I'm about to go for a swim to try to find this leak. I, um, I, you know, I'm gonna go. I don't see Pancake. Pancake is always with Bean, always with Bean, always with Bean, and I don't see him right now. I don't know if I saw him yesterday, so I'm gonna get in the water real quick. I'm gonna pull out some of the turtles, so that way they don't bite me while I'm in there. I don't know, maybe he's just looking for trouble. He worries me. He's half drowned before, so we're gonna get our tubs ready. We're gonna start pulling some of the turtles that I think will bite me while I'm in there out, especially dragon fruit. I think she would sort of ruin my day. All right, these tubs put a little bit of cold water in them so these guys don't overheat. Let's grab this male spotless young mochi. Um, who else? We need dragon fruit and Urkel, the dynamic duo of toe biters. I just turned off the waterfall. Where's Pancake? Please, please just be buried somewhere. There's Bean, but why is she alone? She should have her lover boy with her. I guess I'll pull you out, Crouton. Maybe this spotless ornate will take out as well. All right. I'm gonna drive, grab the last two and just go in. All right, guys, so I'm not gonna film it. I'll be back hopefully when I find Pancake in the hole. All right, turtle nerds, I found it, I found the hole. My bun has been undone by the net, but not only did I find Pancake, I forgot that beef existed for a moment. Oops, I found him and I was like, who is this? So it's time to put them all back. I found the hole. Let me show you where in the liner it's at. Right here, look at this. We have a nice little puncture right here. So luckily it's kind of a soft-ish spot. I should be able to patch that up and then we will be back in business in this pond. Well, let's get all these turtles back in, maybe grab a little bit of underwater footage for you guys. And um, yeah, so, hi, Crouton. There you go. Mochi, here you go. Pancake, here you go, buddy. Hi, what's on your nose, baby? Let's do this, fellas. And now the big girls and some of the boys. Dragon fruit, send you on your way. Okay, let's grab Bean. Send her out. Miss Flipper. And some of the boys here. The boys. Here's Dragon Fruit's two boyfriends. Let them go for her. Mr. Beefcake, who just kind of hangs around. Not too interested in the ladies, but he's a good turtle. I'm gonna probably clean up a little bit more algae that's sitting at the bottom, and then I'm gonna order my liner repair kit, because I found the hole. Right, so I just finished showering because I was disgusting and covered in garbage. I finished cleaning up some of the algae. I wanted to leave a little bit though for the turtles to be able to like go in. Shoot, I need to water this creeping Jenny. Here you go, friend. I gotta water it, it's uh, not looking too hot. It'll bounce right back though, once it sucks up that water. So anyway, I, I found the hole, I found it. Let's take a look. Look, right here, we got a fat hole right in the middle of this thing. And uh, dragon fruit will bite me, so I just have to be careful. So I'm gonna order my patch kit and get that thing sealed up and get this pond back up and running. And now after showering and coming on inside, I need to figure out how to fix a hole in the liner because I honestly don't know. So we're just gonna pop into Google, fix pond liner hole, and what comes up? But a video from one of my favorite people, the pond digger. Let's take a look. That sound. When I hear that sound, y'all, that is like ingrained in my brain because I used to watch Eric Triplett, the Pond Diggers videos so much, like so often. So it's just funny, a little tidbit. Every time I hear this, it's a little too loud. I know that I'm, I'm about to get learned. I'm about to learn something. Well, let's take a look. Copywritten music, I don't know. I'm gonna skip forward. So basically I wanna show you guys how I would go about figuring out, like some, like I don't know how to do everything. So this is how I usually research and learn how to do things. So I'm gonna watch this video primarily. I know generally how to fix a pond liner, but I'm gonna watch this video and then I'm gonna watch like 10 other videos just like it to figure out exactly how to do this best. We're gonna scratch that on there. Got a couple patches in action like this. Okay, we, if we just did a patch like this, but 
circular patch. That's the first mm -hmm. thing we want to do. Circular, all right. So this patch gets, I mean, there's plenty of primer and you can do a lot of patches with this. Cool. That's perfect. We want to let it, we want to let it set up just a little bit. So you want to put the, the Shove it on, roll it out. Okay. That's uh, uh, it, started. That's it? Right. You shove it on, you roll the thing. That's it? You shove the, you, 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 you put the glue, you shove it on, you roll it out, call it a day. All right, I can do that. Time to order one. Done, ordered. Okay, now um, let's let's talk about the not so fun part of this video. Um, let's talk about what happened. Some of you who follow me on Instagram on social media will know. Um, so Coco, my ornate Diamondback Terrapin, um, she died two days ago, I think it is now. Um, so, I mean, I have the footage, I might play it now. So, remember how we cinch the bag purposefully on the pumps, so that way the terrapins don't get caught in it? Because what happens when terrapins get caught in it, graphic, look away if you don't want to see this. This is Coco, this was Coco. My female ornate diamondback terrapin who got caught in the bag and drowned. She got caught in the bag and drowned, period. There is no if, ands, or buts. She was alive, now she's not. I, this is what I mean, guys. Can't catch a break. She was really, really stunning. Really stunning. She's gone. Normally I can bring them back when they half drown. No, she drowned. She drowned. This is, she's gone. That's it. That's it. That's all there is to it. So I'm going to go dig a grave now. That's it. No ifs, ands, or buts. All right, my hole's dug. I just, I don't know, I'm just angry at myself more than anything. All right, our hole is dug. I'm gonna dig it a little deeper. We're gonna put her directly in so that way she doesn't, um, she can provide directly to the rest of the environment. She can just decompose nicely and at least be, be there for that. This sucks. All right, baby, I'm sorry. God, I just, I can't. I really can't with this stuff anymore, man. All right, bye Coco. I am losing my marbles. Just like this. All right, Coco, sorry. That is my fault. That is a mistake I will not make again. So, that's all there is to it. Let me explain what happened in conjunction with the footage. Um, basically, I have this net, this mesh net that I had. Uh, if you guys watched my video a couple days ago when I put the pump first in, um, essentially what I did was I took this net and I put it over the pump to try to catch debris before it went in the impeller. That way it like prolongs the life of your pump. And I needed to keep the pump, this external pump, because, well, I guess it's internal, whatever. but. The whole reason that I had to put the pump in the pond is to keep the water recirculating so that way there's plenty of oxygen for the fish because I'm dealing with my leak. And so, like, one thing led to another. The leak led to... the So the leak led to the me having to put the pump and then I put the bag on. The bag came uncinched in part of my video the other day. I was like, hey, make sure that we got this nice and tight. It came undone somehow. I noticed Pancake was in there and Pancake has almost drowned before and I revived him, thank God. But um, Coco was not as lucky and so it was really difficult for me to come out with the video that you guys probably saw yesterday. I think it's gonna be um, because uh, my, when I was doing my water changes, unknowingly Coco was out there drowning. So, um, I, yeah, so it sucks. I mean, it sucks and I'm not beating myself up because it, it happens. I mean, it happens like there's no point in getting mad and getting overly sad. We can just learn and move on and hopefully you guys can learn from my mistakes and we can all move forward and just remember little Coco, the sweet, beautiful little terrapin that she was. Um, and just for for future reference for you guys and for me, it's just, it's a learning experience. And I'm not good with emotions kind of, so it might seem that I'm just like, like feel nothing, but uh, y'all don't know the years and years of like turtle disasters that I've had where I would just be crying for days and days and days on end. Um, I'm not saying I'm 
numb to it now. It's just, I understand what the protocol is now. Okay, let's learn and move forward because nothing changes when you sit and mope for days on end. Okay, um, so that's, that's that. And um, I don't want to end on a bad note. So maybe we'll go feed some babies. I don't know. I kind of need to just edit though. Um, yeah, no, I hate to end on a bad note. I really do, but I just wanted to explain that and let you guys know what the deal was with that. Um, Coco's brother, Nilla, is in New Jersey with Chris Leone of Garden State Tortoise. So that's like a plus. And it's a plus that, I don't know, that Coco was the only one in there. And like, you know, it just, it is what it is. So that is that situation. Um, I'm going to shut up so I don't have to edit more than I have to because I'm still kind of reeling from this. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I'm not going to do much today. I'm probably going to feed some of the babies, but I'm not going to like go crazy. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you understand. I hope you like just learn, learn from my mistakes. I, when I say things, you think it won't happen until it happens to you. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we got the hole, so we're going to get our patch kit and we're going to fix it up, seal it up. Good things are coming. I promise we can't stay down, right? I refuse to stay down. I'm getting back up. You hit me with all you got and I'm, I'm coming back. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. I really appreciate you guys. I think we might have a giveaway coming up too soon as well. So thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.